We're going to turn our attention back to the weather this morning because it is the big newsmaker, the big story, this wind chill advisory. I mean, we're just skirting close to the wind chill warning mark, actually, with it being minus 20 degrees wind chill in some places. Yeah, the sad part is we're skirting around zero. Yeah, and yeah. that's the problem. Factor in a wind and then the wind chills just fall dramatically. Mm -hmm. Seven first alert meteorologist Mike Taylor has been keeping an eye on these biting wind chills. And how long are we going to keep this advisory around today? Mike. You know, this advisory will be here all morning and it should expire around noontime and then we'll take a brief break. Not so much from the cold, but from the dangerously cold air uh, that we've been experiencing at least over the last 72 hours here. And I was just get, doing a quick check of those wind chills and you'll see south of eight mile. I mean, Ann Arbor negative 17, Detroit negative 19. So even though it's colder south than it is north of eight mile, it's still cold everywhere across Metro Detroit, but it is going to get a little bit better. So because of that, we have a wind chill advisory in effect until noon. This goes for the entire area because of the wind chills dipping between negative 15 and negative 20. So looking at the 36 hour wind chill, I want you to see the progress to see how it's slowly getting better. So once we're done with the wind chill advisory, that'll be for this morning. Then by lunchtime, it slowly gets better. But I also want you to know, see that it's still cold. So even though we climb slowly into those teens, it's going to be cold even after that. Then we shift our focus to the snow. I think for much of today, if anything, maybe some flurries. But look what happens after midnight. The chance of snow really pops up here where snow is going to be likely and the timing of that will be for the morning commute and that just for Thursday, also for Friday. So winter's not done with this just yet. We'll call it slick mornings, Thursday and Friday morning combined. I'm thinking we could pick up about two to four inches of snow. You can pretty much cut that in half. Therefore, half of that will fall on Thursday and the other half will fall on Friday. So if anything, it's not the amount of snow, it's the timing is not good. It's going to be during the morning time. So of course, we're going to look at the potential for us to clear the roads and with temperatures like this, even though they will be better, salt is going to work very slowly. So because of that, it looks like it could be a slick start for the next two mornings. Just keep that in mind. Your seven day forecast, we will eventually warm up, but even that could bring a wintry mess into next week, Monday and Tuesday.